so yesterday, after I got done publishing the video on how I recycle K-cups, um, I got to my mailbox, and lo and behold, the recycle cup had shown up. Um, I thought it was going to take about another week to get this thing, and there it was in the mailbox. So uh, kudos to Recycle a Cup on the quick processing and shipping uh, of the order and getting it to me really quick. So I paid just under $10 for this uh, package, which has two of them in it. Um, seems like it's pretty well engineered. It's nice hard plastic. It's not flimsy at all. The, the blades are spring-loaded, so they pop in and out only when you squeeze it. Um, there's two of them, obviously, you can see that, so that whenever I put those on and twist the cake up, it should take half of a revolution instead of a full revolution, like the thing I invented or, or made for myself to help me process it. Um, after trying this once, I can tell you that if I would have had this before, I wouldn't have invented or created the thing that I created for myself, because this thing is super easy and uh, works like a charm of making a lid on a K-cup so that you can separate the easily recyclable portions from the not so easy, easily recyclable portions of the K-cup. Um, so with all that said, let me do a quick demo of, of this thing working. So all you do is you just put this thing down on top, make sure you have it pushed in, pushed completely onto the top of your K-cup, squeeze those two tabs, and then twist it half turn. Pretty simple, and you end up pulling it apart. So you got this part that you know is easily recyclable. Stick that on your big stack of uh, plastic, throw it in your recycle bin, whatever it is you do with it, um, and then you're left with the filter along with the lid top made out of foil. And as you guys recall, hopefully from the video, if you watched it, I hope you did. Um, this outer ring of plastic is not recyclable really because it's, it's got the foil. It's got plastic and it's got some bits of the uh, filter paper in it and most of the recycling companies, at least what I saw online, I read a few articles, watched a video or two, um, they'll just pick it out as it's going through the line and they'll throw it away because it, it can, you know, I guess it can contaminate the uh, full recycled plastic and stuff and there'll be paper fibers and all that stuff inside of it so they just don't even bother, they just pull it out. But anyway, you know, nothing different about processing this than there was yesterday separate that filter part from the, the lid part, you end up with the two components. Um, since it's that kind of natural paper um, that's not for the recyclable ones, um, it's easily torn apart. So that will just go right into a compost bin. And then you can pull the foil off also and put the foil in with all of your uh, foil, metal, aluminum can recycling um, if you have that kind of program going. Um, like I said, nice little package. Thing works like a charm. Um, I'm definitely going to say that this would be a great deal um, for the home Keurig drinker. I mean, you have maybe one or two a day, or that you maybe if you, even if you have four or five a day, uh, this would be perfect to just leave you know in a drawer by the the machine or sitting on the counter. And as you pull them out, um, use one of these to separate them and at least throw that easily recyclable stuff into the plastic recycling bin. Um, even if you can't take the time to you know, compost the coffee and the, and the paper and the foil, um, putting the foil in a recycle bin obviously, but um, I don't know how well this will hold up um, for the number of K-cups that I am going to recycle and that I do recycle. Um, I was afraid that those blades would be pretty flimsy, but the thing's pretty solid. I mean. I don't know how, sh how long it will stay sharp. Um, I think that's one advantage mine has over this, uh, is that um, mine is just a big razor blade screwed on the inside of that. So I can replace that blade as often as I want. These things, I was trying to see if I could pull that out to like replace the blade, because I'm pretty sure in the original video I saw there were two big differences. One, it had a cup that you screwed to this you put the cake up in and then you put this on and that way it wouldn't be the cake up itself wouldn't be so flimsy but I also thought that these things would pull out really easy and you could just buy like replacement blades but um, when I went and bought this a week ago or so there were no options to pick from and this is what I bought and this is what I got so I don't maybe they just changed the design and it's not like that anymore and maybe this will last forever I mean or not forever obviously it won't last forever but um, 
instead of the blades being just disposable, I think this whole thing would be disposable, but they probably don't expect people to be doing like I'm doing either, where you're like becoming the cake up recycling uh, machine at your house. But anyway, to me, it's a good product um, for 10 bucks. We'll see how it holds up in the long run. Um, as far as an initial impression, I think it's, it's worth 10 bucks, especially for the home user. Um, but you know, if you guys buy one and you have any issues with it, we'll definitely let them know. But also make a comment, tell me if you think they're you know, worth it or not too, just to help everybody else out who comes along and watches this video, because that's usually how you end up at a review video, because you're thinking about buying one. So. Um, also, if you don't have a recycling uh, program, like we don't have one that visits our house, we just have a, a couple of dumpsters at the uh, township building where we can put our uh, recyclables in. That's They have different bins for different things, but um, so if you don't have it, you know, take your stuff, find one of those if, if you want to recycle. All right, well, with that said, this is Mike at Lifelong Abundance. Take care, everybody.